Hey Google Workspace or Cloud Identity Admin, this is Goldie again. In this video, let's talk about Google Beyond Corp's uh, subscription plans. Uh, I'll talk about different features and access controls that you get in uh, different plans so that you can make an informed decision uh, about which plan you should start or you should go with. So with that, let's first understand just a little bit about different plans uh, which are offered and then I will do a deep dive on which features and access controls are available in these plans. So there are essentially three plans. I mean, ideally Beyond Corp has two plans. The first one, which is called Baseline, it's, it's part of Google Cloud Platform. So if you have ever used Google Cloud Platform, there is something called Identity Aware Proxy, which essentially sits uh, between your applications and uh, uh, the, re uh, the users and devices. So that's, that is offered for free to Google Cloud Platform customers. However, then uh, this can be complemented uh, with any of these Beyond Corp uh, premium or paid subscriptions. The first one, is called Beyond Corp Enterprise Essentials, which is a recent uh, addition to uh, existing Beyond Corp Enterprise plan. And this Enterprise Essential, I would say, is primarily meant for customers who are using Google Workspace because Google Workspace has context aware access, especially if you are running Google Workspace Enterprise uh, subscription. And that context aware access can help you. Uh, define rules which would say based on this context user would or would not have access to uh, Google Workspace or SAML resources. However, with Beyond Corp Enterprise Essentials you can go one step further and I have a separate video uh, talking about uh, what complement can Google uh, Beyond Corp Essential uh, would add to Google Workspace. So I'll just link it here if you want to watch it. Uh, please feel free. And then the final one, which is an oldest uh, subscription, it's called Beyond Corp Enterprise, which covers not just workspace, but also uh, Google Cloud Platform, other clouds like Azure and uh, Amazon Web Services, along with your local uh, web and non-web applications. So with that, a bit of context. Now let's uh, take a detailed look at the features and functionality so that you can make an informed decision based on what you need and what subscription will give you that. So first, let's look at the application and resource uh, access category. So first, control uh, is access control to web applications running on GCP. It might be you have application running in Google uh, App Engine or Google Compute Engine virtual machine, or maybe you have containers deployed, and now you need to uh, apply some security controls to that. That's available in uh, the free identity aware proxy and the Beyond Corp Enterprise plan, but not in Enterprise Essentials, because again, remember Enterprise Essentials, primarily it is meant for Google Workspace customers so that they can secure or complement existing workspace controls with the Beyond Corp ones, okay? Now, the second one is access control uh, to RDP, SSH, and TCP ports uh, for your VMs that's running on GCP. They're also available in uh, baseline and enterprise and when i say baseline free though these controls are available but in case if you need to leverage you know uh, identity based policies so for example you know who which user or which group is trying to access web application on gcp so those user context based policies they are free, but in case if you need to leverage device-based controls, and I'll talk about that in a minute, for example, if you say, if the operating system version is not x.y.z, then user should not be able to access the application running in GCP, then that device level uh, and Chrome level and third-party context-based uh, approach is only available in enterprise. Okay. Now let's talk about access uh, to uh, Google Cloud Platform APIs and Google Cloud Console uh, itself. As you know, these are pretty sensitive resources and you will be doing your administration uh, there. So this uh, control or this access control is available in both baseline as well as Beyond Corp Enterprise. However, in baseline, you can still leverage the uh, users out of context, for example, IP address or the geographic location. So you can say, if my uh, GCP admin is trying to log in 
from anywhere outside the United States, then that person will not have access to GCP console, otherwise yes. So that user side uh, IP or geolocation uh, context can be leveraged in free baseline version too. But in case if you plan to leverage device based and other context signals, then you need to upgrade to enterprise. Okay, some other uh, features under application and uh, resource access is in case if you have uh, if you want to control access to web applications uh, on GCP internal load balancing, or uh, you know if you have web applications running on prem, uh, then uh, you will need Beyond Corp Enterprise. Same case in case if you have any you know tech client or client server application running, if you need to control that, or maybe if you have applications running in Amazon Web Services or Azure. So in those kind of scenarios, you will need to upgrade to Beyond Corp Enterprise. And I've already discussed the cost of each of these uh, subscription plans in my other videos, so I'll just link it somewhere here. Okay, now uh, application and resource access. Couple of other things to note here. Access control to SAML-based applications. Uh, when I say SAML-based, uh, these are the applications where Google is acting as your identity provider. Uh, so those applications are relying on Google's identity and Google is sending them the SAML response to let them know that these users are okay, let them log in. So uh, by default, you can configure SAML connections and user will be able to log in with Google identity. But in case if you need to complement it with some uh, conditional access or context of your access control. So for example, you can say in case if the user device is not encrypted or maybe if the user has not logged in with MFA, maybe the security key or FIDO key, then user will not be able to access this specific application. So this control is available in Enterprise Essential and uh, Beyond Corp Enterprise both. Uh, please note that as of today, which is uh, which is November 2022, this control is only uh, applicable at the login time. It's not dynamic. So, for example, if you log into Salesforce with Google as your identity provider, these conditions will be checked at the login time itself. Once you are logged in and you have session established with that SAML application, let's say Salesforce. Then onwards, even if your context changes behind the scenes, you will still be logged in to Salesforce as it is not dynamic, unlike native Google workspace applications like Gmail Drive, etc. Okay, and then the last one, access control to Google Workspace Admin Console that is also available in both Enterprise Essentials and Google uh, Beyond Corp Enterprise. And I did a separate video just to show this functionality. I'll just link it somewhere here so you can learn how you can control access to your Google Workspace Admin Console based on some of the uh, context uh, signals like device signals and user signals and so on. Okay, now let's move to access policies and advanced settings. And I think uh, uh, we already discussed this a bit, but essentially access level using uh, users in groups. So maybe creating policies saying this uh, admin group of users or this person should have access to this resource based on these conditions. This is available in all of three plans. Uh, similarly, access levels using IP addresses and geolocations, that is also available in all of the subscriptions. However, access levels uh, based on date and time restrictions, that is only available in Enterprise Essentials and Enterprise. Similarly, access level using login credential strength. When I say login credential strength, when the user logs into Google, uh, Google will detect whether the user has logged in with just the user ID or password, or he uh, also uh, you know, uh, complemented it with some sort of two-step verification or MFA, and what was the factor of that MFA? Was that just a TOTP-based uh, token, or was that a security or FIDO key? And based on then that credential strength, you can apply a policy, so you can say, only allow access to this specific resource to my CXO uh, users if they have uh, logged in or if they have authenticated with the security key as the second factor of MFA. 
Now, access policy is an advanced uh, setting. So in case if you need to do uh, context, uh, uh, if you need to read the context of certificates, that's only available in Enterprise Essentials and Enterprise. Uh, in case if you need to apply policies based on users' uh, device security posture, for example, is this device encrypted? Is this device company owned or personal owned? Is this device running? X dot Y dot Z operating system patch. So those kind of policies can be applied in both enterprise essentials and enterprise. Access level using Chrome security postures. So Chrome also give a lot of context, for example, whether this is, uh, this is a managed uh, browser or not, or user is uh, trying to access with the protected profile or not. And based on those uh, context signals, you can apply your con conditional access policy. Access level using third-party signals. So Google has uh, partnered with a lot of partners under their Beyond Corp Alliance partner program, uh, such as you know uh, uh, JamF and uh, I think Workspace One is also the one from VMware, and there are multiple uh, partners. I might put a link uh, under this video. So essentially, in case if you have already invested in those partner uh, products, maybe you are uh, getting. Uh, threat intelligence from one of those partners, essentially you can combine those signals in Google Beyond Corp and leverage those signals to create and apply your conditional or context of your access policies. So this is a, a, a available in both Enterprise Essentials and Enterprise Plan. Okay, now let's talk about access policies in advanced settings. So uh, Google has two ways to create these policies. One is, you know, based on UI where you can just do drag and drop and, you know, just select uh, the UI buttons to create policies. Uh, in case if you need to create a bit more advanced and granular and complex policies, then there is a common expression language that is only available in Enterprise Essentials and Enterprise. Okay, same origin policy configuration uh, in HTTP options. That's not applicable for uh, Enterprise Essentials because essentially it's meant for Google Workspace. Uh, in case if you have such applications, you can apply uh, same origin policy in baseline as well as in enterprise. Now custom authentication uh, uh, and domain and 403 pages. So for example, let's say you have an App Engine application running in Google Cloud Platform and you need to put a custom uh, uh, domain name so that it enhances your user's experience. So when they try to sign in, their uh, domain will be embedded. And in case if there is any error, you can send them to a custom error page. So those kind of configurations or controls are only available in Google Beyond Corp Enterprise. And finally, let's talk about the user uh, threat and data protection controls in Google Beyond Corp. So you can have uh, data loss prevention uh, based on predefined or custom connectors in Chrome. So if you're a Google Workspace customer, you might be using uh, Google's uh, Gmail and Drive DLP today. Uh, now with this uh, functionality, in case if you complement uh, your Google Workspace with Enterprise Essentials or Enterprise, then you should be able to uh, have DLP in the Chrome browser itself. So for example, maybe your users are trying to, let's say, uh, upload a file to Dropbox or Box and uh, they're enforced to use Chrome. So as soon as they upload, you can do scanning of the content that is being uploaded and allow or, or uh, don't allow based on the context. Now, uh, malware protection and advanced uh, sandboxing that's only available in Enterprise Essentials and Enterprise. Phishing and malicious URL protection that's only available in Enterprise Essentials and Enterprise. And finally, threat and data protection alerting and reporting uh, on the Chrome side that's only available in Enterprise Essentials and Enterprise. So I think to summarize, if uh, what you see here on this screen, like predefined DLP or custom detector or DLP in Chrome or uh, phishing and malicious URL protection. If these are the kind of use cases you have, you would be a good fit for Enterprise Essentials, which is in the middle right here. Uh, in case if you, uh, you are more towards in you know, a Google 
cloud platform if you have your applications running there and you need to leverage uh, context based on third party signals and your device signals then you should go with google enterprises and uh, enterprise the last one and also in case if you have your applications running on-prem uh, within your premises or in local infrastructure or maybe you have uh, your resources in uh, amazon web services or azure and you need to protect them with Google Beyond Corp, then also Google Beyond Corp Enterprise might be a good uh, fit for you. If you have any questions or comments, please do not hesitate to put that under this video and I'll be happy to collaborate. With that, thank you so much. <music>